how would you rate your spiritual life is it exciting is it dull is it boring you know sometimes we get bored with church uh, our spiritual life and uh, well generally things seem boring nothing is happening now what is the root cause of this so called spiritual boredom um now we read this verse James chapter 1 and verse 22 which says uh, but be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving yourselves um so we know that when we have knowledge and we do not apply that knowledge then over a period of time because we don't apply that knowledge it becomes boring things become dull and uh, it becomes very unfulfilling you know it's, uh, life itself becomes unfulfilling um so knowledge without application you know that's the root cause that's a key to why sometimes we get into a rut why our spiritual life becomes or seems to be boring and dull and unfulfilling um if you read the words that if you hear sermons and uh, if we keep hearing a lot of messages but maybe podcast but if we do not obey or do the word or apply the truth of what we are hearing in our lives internalize it and apply it if we do not do that then there comes a point when we actually become dull or or we come we become tired of hearing another message and we go oh man not another message not another sermon now you know in that verse that we see that phrase hearers only in the greek it it refers to um the classical greek times where there were people who who used to audit a class rather than take the class for credit which means that they would attend the class or be part of a, of a, of a uh, a lecture maybe or maybe even travel to visit uh, a, a, or be part of lectures or where teaching sessions are there but not really take up an examination or not really let them be tested on what they heard um, but just hear it now it is possible that uh, uh, they would enjoy the talk that they would even uh, laugh or you know make a joke about it or um, maybe they would also look knowledgeable because of what they do but at the end of it uh, they would do all these things without the intention of uh, putting the whatever they heard to practice or without the intention of really being tested on what they are hearing so that is the phrase hearers only now uh paul uh, you know the uh, in, in james we see you know do not be uh, doers of the word sorry james 122 says be doers of the word and not hearers only so this is the very uh condition that uh, james is telling that we should avoid so don't be a hearer only so some questions to ask ourselves is you know am i serious about the word of god do i esteem and honor and value the word of god enough to obey do i value the word of god so much that i receive the truth or apply the truth in my life or am i just a forgetful hearer and not a diligent doer if we make a conscious decision to be doers of the word then we'll never be bored then our spiritual life will actually be thriving so i just want to invite us to um to have this kind of thriving spiritual life so that we will never be bored of church so that we will never be bored of uh, uh, of the word of god our spiritual life again let's pray father i pray that uh, that we would be doers of your word that we would be diligent doers of your word that we will not be forgetful here as lord and i just pray even as we do your word even as we lord receive your word into our hearts and apply the word and obey the truth and instruction of what is there in your word lord i pray that not only will faith rise up in our hearts lord but that we will be all that you've called us to be father god that we would be like a well watered garden in a dry place that our spiritual life will be thriving that rivers of waters lord that your river will just flow god we thank you that you will cause this to happen in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.